Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another Genshin Impact playthrough session. So we just, like, 10, 20, like half an hour ago, I would think at this point, because I've, I've been taking my sweet time. Uh, we just finished watching every single relevant character and lore-oriented trailer from the Genshin Impact YouTube channel. Uh, I got a bunch of insight to Dane's Leaf, to the roadmap of all of the regions and sneak peeks at future characters that we get to look forward to. Um, and I learned a lot about the currently existing characters that I've been playing in, that I've been playing with since day one that I didn't really, that I still really don't understand because I still have character quests to get through and like, uh, you know, character bios and I'm going through all of my characters, like getting to Friendship 6 at the very least and all that kind of stuff. But this is just an immediate follow-up to those trailers because, you know, I have until tomorrow to finish Windbloom, and that's what we're going to focus on for tomorrow. But for this video, for this stream, we are continuing on with the Dane's Leaf quest line that I believe was implemented in 1.3 that has just been sitting in my inventory forever. Um, and it's chapter one, act four prelude. I have to talk to the Mondstadt Catherine and she tells me like something's going on and all that stuff. And talking to Catherine and Mondstadt also triggers wind bloom. So I can't really do one without also prioritizing the other. So today's going to be Dane's Leaf. And in the next session, we are going to be doing the wind bloom festival all in one sitting. I'm probably going to have to do Klee's quest too, because I have her quest unlocked. And I heard that that conflicts with some people with completing the quest, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, we are going to be starting the Burrow Keeper Dane's Leaf. And he gives a lot of rewards. Look at these rewards, bro. So with that said, we're going to we're gonna run up in here. I decided to be like my core party. Also, I love what they did for Windbloom. Like, I hate the fact that I'm not able to really appreciate and take time to appreciate this, but the dandelions flying through all of the like all of the decor like the flowers and stuff they have uh what like these um disaster. these windmills that are that are at every single like waypoint location every statue of the seven in monster it's just so beautiful everything's come together really well and i'm gonna be immersing myself in all of this stuff tomorrow but for now we gotta talk to Catherine, and we gotta we gotta figure out what's going on here we go traveler please over here okay what's up it has been a while since you joined the adventurers guild are your adventures going smoothly more companions would be nice <laughs> i'm recruiting new allies hmm, is that so i don't know apart from your own skills reliable teammates are also indispensable when adventuring yeah i mean i met a lot of good folks along the way another person to count on is always good after all Ooh. But recruiting such dependable companions is no easy matter, is it? True, true. <laughs> Are you going to give me a new companion? Is Dane Leaf going to be like, I'll assist you? Yep, and it's even harder to get a guide as good as Paimon. My sister has a giant robotic, like, giant as her companion. You got a, I don't know. I don't know, Paimon. You're kind of cramped. Look at, look at, look at the traveler. He's so pissed. He's like, you for real right now? What's going on? Ah, uh, yes. I do have some information that may be of help to you. Oh, let me consult our records. <gasps> ah, there it is. Oh, shit! There's been a certain blonde stranger who arrived Ooh. in Mondstadt lately, dressed in most unusual clothes. That immediately lines up with our sister, but it's not our sister. It's the kid. It's the dude. Him. It's the man, the myth, the legend. Blonde. Dress is so <laughs> funny. It feels like Paimon's heard this one before. Uh, look to your right, Paimon. Wait! Do you mean... <laughs> Could it be? Does that stranger's face look anything like his? Like the honorary knights? No, they couldn't look more different. <gasps> this stranger is a very tall man and even has an eye patch. Okay. So Conria was clearly the up and coming civilization of pirates because that's how Kaya got his eye patch from his dad because his dad was, his, his grandfather was a pirate and he, he fought all those people with that secret sword. <laughs> How does this have anything to do with Kaya? I Conria. Can't prove that you're related anyway. They're both connected to that region too. That stranger declined the guild's invitation, so I can't say that I know anything about the relationship between him and Mr. Kaya. Nonetheless, you can look for him if you're. Oh, interested. so is he here to talk to Perhaps Kaya? He might accept your commission instead. Maybe he's here because of Kaya. Because Kaya's from Conria. And Kai is super sus, like, I'll be honest, like, he's kind of, he's like low-key, like, okay, I don't know what you're planning, buddy. After all, it is not uncommon for some adventurers to not want to be limited by the guild, but be happy to accept a fellow adventurer's request. Okay, I love how just the dandelions are just <clears throat> chilling, <laughs> like, in the scene. And should the stranger be a strong adventurer indeed, 
he would certainly be a big help on your journey. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure he will be for many years to come. But if he's already rejected the guild. Please don't talk down on yourself like that. Uh, you I'm not talking down on myself. Of Knights of talking down on y'all. Why didn't y'all convince him? Your deeds are the stuff of song for all the bards in the city, even now. Well, as to further news about him, you may want to ask Mr. Lawrence. He stands guard at the city gate. Yep. So he may know something about that stranger. I wish you he every knows, success, Yeah, Lawrence adventurer. literally knows everything, so it's kind of cool that she referenced him. Uh, honorary knight. Is something the matter? So I'm looking for a stranger with an eye patch. A stranger with an eye patch? Hmm. Mm. Let me think. Oh, yeah. I remember seeing someone like that. A blonde stranger dressed in unusual garb. <laughs> he was wandering all over Mondstadt at first, which I found rather suspicious. Yeah, pretty sus. So I decided to keep an eye on him for a while. He knew you were staring. He knew that you were watching him. <sighs> I lost him pretty quickly. Still... I didn't think that this was such a huge matter that we needed our outrider to pursue him by air. Oh shit, Amber? The gliding champion of monsters. As long as Master Jean is here, there's nothing to fear from some suspicious, unusual looking person. <laughs> okay, dude. That might be true, but if it were up to Jean, she'd take this way more seriously. I honestly think Dainsleaf can like body all of us. I don't know why. I he just he just presents that type of aura about him. <laughs> that is true. But on the other hand, knowing that Master Jean may overreact to the situation is all the more reason to not tell her, no? <sighs> Anyways. Oh yeah, he was at Wagner Smithy for a while before I tried telling him. He might have said something to Wagner. Mm. You should go ask him. Maybe he has more news about Bro, our stranger. Is this a wild goose chase? Is it like, all right, go talk to go talk to Lawrence. Go talk to Wagner. Go talk to freaking what's his face? I don't know. Go talk to to Marco or whoever. What? You need something? <laughs> what? Yeah, I remember him. He showed up a few days ago asking to buy a bunch of forging materials. Oh. Can't say I've heard of any of the materials he mentioned though. Oh, materials foreign to Mondstadt, eh? I'm expecting that too when we go to like Inazuma and all these other regions. All the farming that I've done in Mondstadt is in Liyue is gonna be so disproportionate to these other new regions because I'm not gonna be able to. I'm I'm, I'm not I, I'm not gonna spend nearly as much time in those regions. I don't think as these regions that I've been in since the game came out. So God, it's gonna be incredible like farming for all that shit. He then had a look at the weapons in my shop before leaving. I've heard that he can be found drinking at the Angel's share. My god, now we gotta go if there? The Knights of the Guild want to get hold of him. That's the only place to be. <laughs> okay. The Angel's share? Well, Master Diluc probably has his eye on that stranger too then. Anyway, let's go to the Angel's share and have a look. Oh, uh, okay, I was kind of right. So we've gone from Lawrence to Wagner to Charles now. So this is a wild goose chase. <sighs> okay, Charles, you know every person in this place. What do you know? What will it be? Grape juice or apple cider? <laughs> the hardest of liquor. Another day, another lack of alcoholic options. Hey, Charles! Have you seen a blonde stranger who wears an eye patch around here by any chance? Yo, yeah, imagine he's upstairs just big chillin'. That I have. He comes here every night. Just a drink, though. Doesn't order anything else. He even sometimes mixes his own drinks after he orders them. I don't know anything else about him, but from his selections and mixes. I'd say that he's quite the connoisseur. Hey, he's a cultured individual. I appreciate that. And what's Master D. Luke's opinion? Why, I just gave it to you. Quite, quite the connoisseur. connoisseur. Oh, okay. Investigating everything as always. Guess that's D. Luke for you. If you're looking for that gentleman, he ordered some new bottle of wine in advance yesterday. Oh. So he should be here today too. There's too many raucous patrons on the first floor, so if you want to wait, I called that best shit. to go to the second. I was like, second floor, let's go. <laughs> I thought he'd be upstairs waiting for us, like, like, like how like Raven was waiting upstairs for Tai Yang in Volume Four of Ruby. Oh, yeah, go to the second floor and wait. Okay, let's. Uh, do I have to just sit down? All right, let's let's, let's have a seat. Oh, you and Paimon start waiting on the second floor. Oh. Ah, welcome, sir. The wine that you previously Holy ordered is here. Holy shit, this man is so majestic and extra. God damn. He's really here? Let's go downstairs and have a look. Mr. Dainsleaf, I'm a huge fan! Let's, uh, let's be sophisticated. Let's, let's sit. Dude, look at this man! Hello? Also, that's kind of, that's not really an eye patch. That's like an eye mat. Look at this man's eyes. This guy is so badass. Look at this dude! 
Look at his outfit. He better be playable someday. <laughs> wow, this guy looks so fucking cool. All right, I'm gonna stop simping. Yeah, his eyes look great. Like he has like the diamonds in his eyes almost. Hi, I'm an adventurer from the Adventurer's Guild. <laughs> Man, a few words I see. Wow. He's got no intention of paying us any mind, huh? So, uh, I'm a traveler. A traveler, you say? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you traveling? You already know that answer. I'm looking for my lost relative. <sighs> hmm. Well, that's as good a reason as any. Sit down over there, then. So, guess we've broken the <laughs> ice. What a weird guy. Hey, show some respect. Wait a minute. I just realized the same like diamond shapes in his eyes look awfully similar to the diamond thing that's like on Paimon's head. And Paimon's an anomaly in and of herself, so I don't fucking know, dude. She also's got like that insignia on her chest, like the Mora insignia. And she also has the freaking, the galaxy cape on her back. Wait, why are people saying iced? Oh, broke the ice? Oh, God damn it. Okay, I'll allow that chat. That that one was a little, that was a little forced. Actually, you know what? You know what? I'll accept that. that that's a plus one for you guys. Hmm. That little one beside you. <laughs> I gotta do it for the memes. That's not true. Can you know it? Uh, my best chum or my emergency food. It's indeed a good thing to have someone accompany you on your travels. Do you know anything about her? My name's Dainsliff. Dainsliff. I suppose you have some business with me? Well, I was supposed to invite you to adventure with us. Sure. You were so cold just a moment before. Paimon's got a bad feeling about Damn. this. Damn, he was so cold just a moment before, you could almost say he was on ice. But I will require <laughs> advance payment. Uh, payment, you say? 500 mora and three answered questions. What? Just 500 mora? That's it? <laughs> the 500 is a one-time fee, and we'll settle the questions in a moment. Uh, yeah, that's it? That's it. Oh, hey, maybe he's doing me a favor. Well, now Paimon's got a really bad feeling. That kind of compensation can't be right. Well, here's the 500. What if I didn't have 500? Like, what if I was absolutely dirt poor? He'd be like, oh, I guess we're not doing business. Ah, thank you. Now, as for my questions, I'd like you to answer them here and now. Wait! He's asking me questions? I thought I was asking him questions. That's not cool. I gotta pay you and I gotta do stuff for you. What do I get out of it? All right, do I need to answer them all correctly? The answer to a question says nothing about right and wrong, only about differences in attitude. Oh, okay, it's like, hey, where's your moral compass lie, boy? I only wish to know what your choices are. You need only answer. Okay. Question one. Am I on the trivia hotspot? The crisis Mondstadt faced was resolved by an alliance between yourself and that animo archon who calls himself Venti. Oh, shit. Who, in your view, was the key to ending that crisis? How did you know that Venti is... Well, here's the thing. You can't ask a question with another question because you're... he wants just answers. Like, just give him a straight answer. I know everything that I should. This man's toying with me, isn't he? He's like, I just want to know if you're going to be honest with me or if you're going to do this the easy way or you're going to do this the hard way. Yeah, I this this man knows everything. He's a self-proclaimed prophet. What do you expect? <laughs> well, answer the question. How influential were we in stopping Devalin? We needed to fix the holy liar. I feel like I was the glue that kept everybody together. Devalin was always an issue until I came around. I'm not out here like, it was me, I did all the work, but he's saying, you know, who was the, the driving factor to end that conflict? I think it was me ultimately, because you also have to consider, it was only because I was able to purify Devalin's tears to power said holy liar to then follow through with going and attempting to win him over or to turn him back over. So I would say it was me. Is that your answer? Hmm, I see. I know that everyone like Venti contributed, Gene contributed, Dilu contributed, but yeah, I'll just say it was me. Question number two. Rex Lapis, who has defended Liu Horrible <gasps> for millennia on end, used his gnosis to lay down a contract to end all contracts, mm -hmm. of which the stipulations are still unknown. Yo, even he knows that? What the hell? Is he like everywhere? Who do you think will defend Liu Harbor in the future? 
now that they've lost their deity. Everybody. I don't want to say just the Adepti because they don't want to do, you know, the Chi Sing will contribute the Adept, everyone in Liwei. Like the whole point of Rex Lapis's final contract was that he would be okay in ensuring that Liwe would be okay when he's gone. And at the very end there, the Adepti were able to come to terms with the Chi Sing. The Chi Sing were able to come to terms with the Adepti. And even the villagers, like not the villagers, but the, the citizens were like, hey, we thank you. We will honor you guys and we'll work towards a better future. So I will say everyone in Liwe. So that's your answer? I see. Now for my final question. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? This world has people who gained visions and those who did not. Uh-oh. Oh, he's gonna be like, I see you don't have one. Uh, how is that possible? Which of the two do you think hold more importance in the eyes of the gods? Okay. This is a very personal question from him because I feel like he has he holds a grudge against the gods. You know, Conry apparently is like a region, you know, out of the out of the gods like sight. Oh boy. Uh those with visions, those without, perhaps none of them do. I would say maybe none of them do, honestly. You get a vision, you get a vision, you get a vision. But I, I remember his text was like, despite the gods giving favor to people, like crazy shit happens regardless, and they turn a blind eye, they do nothing because they're like chilling up in the their high society on Celestia. So I'll say perhaps none of them do. And maybe he'll agree with me. Maybe he'll be like, hmm, I kind of like you. So, this is your answer then. <laughs> I understand. As I thought, <gasps> you really are similar to her. Her! Who? My sister! <sighs> I'll take that 500 Mora. And <laughs> now I also understand your views on this world. Uh... As we agreed, you may now commission me. That said, I only take commissions related to the Abyss Order. Okay, so it has to be my sister then, because she's connected to them. Like you, I am currently on a journey. You intend to find your sibling, while I wish to oppose the Abyss. Well, I've also- I've met some Abyss mages in the past. <laughs> Those creatures that serve the Abyss are the fangs and claws by which the Order spreads chaos in this world. I'm gonna- I'm gonna tell you guys something, uh, a kind of like a personal mental like theory that I've um, that I've always thought of. You know, like the Hilly Churls and the Abyss Order and all that stuff. No one really knows where they came from. Like, it doesn't seem like they have a point of origin uh, that they just like came out of nowhere. I wonder if they were the result of like experimentations and the destruction of, of Conria and then like the remnants of the people that were once those citizens or something like that. I just wonder if they have like a deeper origin, like if the if the Abyss Order or even the Hilly Churls were once, you know, if they're a product of experimentation in any way. I have come to Mondstadt or this the spiral time abyss while on even. the trail of an Abyss Herald. What the fuck is that? An Abyss Herald? An even more twisted Abyssal being. One that commands the Abyss Mages. Wait a minute! There's a chain of command? Where? Ha why haven't we seen these before? Come to think of it, since the Storm Terror incident ended, we haven't- Oh, that's right! We've just been fighting against the Fatui and Liyue, who are human too. We haven't encountered the non-human abyss order at all. There's some reason behind that, I'm afraid. It's possible that they may have been under orders to redirect your path. Oh, that does sound pretty dangerous. <gasps> Maybe they're looking for a better time to ambush us or something. They won't defeat us. Uh-huh. We're super duper strong. That manner. It's just like hers. Okay, dude. Can you give me some answers, damn it? Well then, let's go see for ourselves, shall we? Is he gonna fight alongside According me? That'd to be the so leads I have on hand, The Abyss Order has re-infiltrated the Temple of the Falcon. Jesus, these temples, man. Let's meet up at the temple. Perhaps your questions about the Abyss will be answered there. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so we're going to the Temple of the Falcon again. I guess now that he's up here. Actually, when I look at him... When I look at like his shoulders and his back and like his design, like the patterns on his arms, I don't know why, but I get this like he literally looks like a walking representation of like the domains. The the like the the accents on his armor, like the blue, the the trimming of it all. He literally looks like he's themed after a domain. I haven't been to the Spiral Abyss since like early game, so I don't really remember it, but it looks very much like the like the regular domains that you do for for like uh like crafting like ascension materials or weapons and stuff like that. This abandoned temple does bear some marks of the abyss, the Falcon of the West. Though it can soar in the wind, it ultimately does naught but hover 
under the light of the gods. <laughs> what are you talking? <laughs> the main character's like, what the fuck is this guy on about? <laughs> hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Let's head inside. Uh, if you say so. The scent of the abyss is getting stronger. You can. S the it's not far now. The abyss has a smell. Paimon wonders what the abyss heralds look like. Do they look something like the abyss mages? Let's head further in first. If we do see that creature, that'll spare me the explanation either way. Oh my god, a fucking chest? Jesus Christ, I never thought I'd see the day. An actual chest once again that. in Mondstadt. <laughs> god, it's been forever since I got a chest in this region, so. And this is again, this is the this is the the first area that we came to with Amber. Just a few abyss mages. Seems like that herald might have already left. Could you tell me more about the abyss order? The abyss. All right, dude, you got a grudge. Relax, I'm trying to help you. It is chaos, and it is also destruction. It is a morass of inconceivable madness that encroaches upon this world's very foundations. Okay. Um, well then, why is my sister hanging out with them? That is why even the dragon of the east, a servant of a deity, was unable to resist its corrosive powers. Eh, he was kind of like influenced by the poison of Durin and like thinking people hated him and like being told lies. And the creatures of the abyss desire nothing less than the overthrow of a world ruled by the Archons. You seem to know a lot about the abyss, Dane. He's like, I should know. I used to be one of them. I don't know. <laughs> well, we do have some history. Excuse me? You have, you got history, huh? I, I, I don't know how I should I take that. that's as far as chit-chat goes. We should head to Wolvendom. Why Wolvendom? Is that why the wolf hooks were here? Judging by the traces I'm following. Oh, okay, the traces. The next appearance may be within the territory of that old wolf. I guess that's why all the wolf, the, the, the wolf hooks were here, because those are only in Wolvendom. Perhaps we may find our abyss herald there. Pog. Oh, thank God, they give me a good, a precious chest. Poggers. Take me back. Ugh. Well, you win some, you lose some. Teamwork is dreamwork. Damn, I ki they killed Razor in his own dojo, in his own fit, in his own freaking house. Absolutely bodied this man. Actually, I kind of killed myself, let's be honest. Shame on you, Lupacall. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, what is he doing? What the hell? That looks like some pretty freaky fight. That looks like the abyss symbols that you see over their heads when they're doing some freaky shit. It's... Dude, does he have the power of the abyss? Danes leave! This ain't- this isn't normal! Hold on, let's see what's happening here. Lord of Wolvendom, great wolf king of the north. Yep. Sharp of fang and keen of claw, and yet dwelling here only. You know that wolf? You familiar with that wolf? No, nor does it know me. I only know these things because a previous traveling companion of mine once wanted to hear its story. A once traveling companion of mine. Wait, was our sister traveling with him? I really think it's either the sister or if it's the sustainer of Heavenly Principle. It's one of them two. I just don't. I, again, I, I think it's more so Lumine because like th these two were heavily involved in those final two trailers. But like she just started traveling with him for how long before we came into the picture? All right, let's go see if that Abyss Herald has stopped by here. But where do we begin? Hmm. Are you standing here because of these strange bonfires, Dane? Dane. Look at that. She's on a... She's, she's already calling them nicknames. Like, hey, what's going on, Danester? What's going on, Daney? Indeed. See that? Floating above the flames? It's an abyssal spell. Yeah. Knowing what I do of the Order's habits, they've probably left similar marks behind elsewhere. Let's have a look nearby. <sighs> look for clues rel related to the Abyss Order and Wolvendom. Okay, so, okay, they're equally apart from each other, so let me go and do that. Oh. That just did 22k damage. I killed that guy in two hits. Have you finished searching? We found lots of signs of the Abyss Order. I searched around these parts and found some signs myself, but they were left behind by Abyss Mages. <laughs> and there was no deeper abyssal power to them. It seems that even an abyss herald would not wish to make trouble with the wolf king of the north. I wouldn't either. I mean, you, you see the man? You, you see this guy? We should leave as well. 
If there's anything praiseworthy about that old wolf, it's his territorial nature. But now we're out of leads. Are we going to have to give up? No. There is one more place we can go. Okay, where? Let's get a move on then. Storm I'll Terror. I'll wait for you at Storm Terror's lair. Oh shit, okay. I mean, that that's likely. That's the only other place. You know, we go to a temple, we go to the wolf, and now we gotta go to the dragon. I've heard about what happened to you during Mondstadt's crisis. When you came, this place was known as Storm Terror's lair. But I suppose that this place is more <laughs> lair than Storm Terror at this point. I mean, it's Devalin's lair now, I guess. He's, you know, I don't know. In fact, if my memory serves, this ruin has had largely nothing to do with that dragon for a long time. That is true, actually. Yeah, Devalin just like dips it. He's like, I'm out. The first time I laid eyes upon the ruins of old Mondstadt, the dragon of the east had yet to fall, much less come to nest in this place. The ruins of old Mondstadt. Huh? But Byron remembers that Devalin first got in trouble hundreds of years ago. <laughs> Oh shit, you goofed on us, buddy. Don't think too much about it. Yeah, I think we should think pretty critically about it. Do you remember the light actuators that once sealed this ruin? Yes. Uh, that was annoying. If the Abyss Order is interested in this location... Oh, great. ...then they will not And I gotta go and mechanisms. show those... I gotta go back to those light actuators. Let's go see what the situation is at those light actuators. I love retracing my footsteps. That's like my pastime. I love doing that in video games for no... Oh, you know what? Hold on. I'm here. Might as well. Might as well. Get him. Let's light it up, teamwork is true. This is probably that's this is not optimal because Razor does physical damage, but I'm still doing a fuck ton of hey. What the hell? I'm still doing freaking pyro damage on top of that was pyro damage right there. For Razor, 20k, 16k, 13k, let's go. Oh, so in the end, we still couldn't find that Abyss Herald. Watch, Bummer. watch, we're gonna do all of this shit and the Abyss Herald's gonna be in the part two quest that comes out next week. I guarantee you this whole fucking quest is gonna be one wild goose chase. I wouldn't call not having to gaze upon such a creature <laughs> a shame, exactly. Shade, dude. Still, I do believe that you will come across one eventually. What if you're an Abyss Herald? All right, he already said he has some uh, connections. He has a history with them. No, hmm. you're right. If it's a really powerful monster, it would be best to go around it. I wonder if this Abyss Herald is going to be a new world boss. Or maybe even a weekly boss? That'd be kind of cool. We haven't gotten one of those in a while. Like a weekly boss since child. <sighs> How good it would be if all perils one encounters in their journeys could simply be solved by going around them. Speaking from experience, are we? Once upon a time, yes. Ah. I simply have experience from adventuring together with that traveling companion. Are they talking you about my talking sister? About that person this and that person that? <laughs> just say what you're out. Just speak your mind, dude. Where are they now, anyway? They're with the Abyss, which is why I'm going after them. She... <sighs> Come on. No longer travels. I'm afraid that traveling can be too exhausting at times. She's uh, more of a, a homebody now. Oh, is that how it is? Well, why are you traveling alone, then? I still have some things left unfinished. <clears throat> Once they are done, I too will return home to rest. Return home to rest with the rest of my people that are gone. <sighs> yep, and it's good to have a home to come back to, isn't it? We camp out a lot when we travel. Paimon, please don't remind him of sad times. Hey, once you find your sibling, we should find a place to stay too, shouldn't we? Mondstadt's Fisherman's Toast is pretty tasty. <laughs> one mean restaurant, yo. One mean restaurant is great too. Yeah, you get to see Shang Ling when we're there too, at least. Uh, either way, we should settle down in a place where there's good food. Getting a bit ahead of ourselves. Home. Aww. Well, it won't be too late to think about where you stay once your journey reaches its end. While you're still traveling, you should. Oh! What happened? <gasps> The sister? Remember the quest? Dude, this is the exact same spot we were in the trailer when she saw us with the with the ancient ruin guard, dude. I sent something familiar on that cliff. Huh? What's familiar? 
I felt it for a moment the previous time we came here too. A familiar feeling. We you found say. her! Please! It could be someone you know well. Or perhaps a monster. The abyss. Whichever it is, we should see it for ourselves. Oh, and thus see clearly. My you better not freaking tease me. We can reach the top of that cliff from over there. I don't know if they added more stuff. I don't think I've ever really seen that. Oh, the giant footprint! Yeah, that was my sister. She came through. Can you still sense that familiar feeling that you spoke of earlier? It's nearby. But it doesn't feel like there's anything around here. There's a really good no shot. Monsters, with the sun. No people? Nothing. Indeed. There doesn't seem to be anything strange about this place. It doesn't look any different from the last time I was here. Last time! Come on, dude! Spill the beans! My traveling companion brought me here on our previous journey. Alright, he's throwing his traveling partner under the bus way too much. <laughs> like, <laughs> my traveling partner this, my traveling partner that. I'm only doing this because of my traveling partner. Okay, dude. Do you do anything for you? Something? What about you? What's your favorite place? Conria. Me? I no longer remember. Aww. I merely followed my traveling companion around on that journey. That's all there was to it. A ruined guard's footprint. Oh! A ruined guard was wandering around here? Holy shit, he's actually like, in the world doing his own thing. Alright, let's follow no him. peace to be found. Even for a single dandelion. It's just a ruined guard, buddy. I body those things like the quickness. Oh! Cutscene. <gasps> Are we gonna see our sister? <gasps> oh, we. What? Wait. Why did we see the ruin? We weren't a part of that, were we? Bro, I'm so lost. <laughs> what is happening? What's gotten into you? You were just spacing out. We just thought the same. We just saw the same thing that she saw. This dandelion reminds me of. Huh? You mean your sister? But how could that be? You only touched that dandelion for a second. Yes, the moment I touched it. Oh, that's a like a fully grown dandelion. Not even like the uh, all the ones that we've been like collecting have been like premature dandelions. That's like a fully grown dandelion flower. Perhaps that dandelion bears some sort of scent that only you recognize. As for why. Has it perhaps experienced something related to you? Uh, you're saying some real confusing stuff. Regardless, we have to get Hyman to the- doesn't get it at all. Regardless, we have to get to the bottom of the- Do not rush. Vexation and anxiety are the enemy of rational thought. Oh dear. Your journey has only just begun, has it not? <sighs> Began like six months ago. At least you now know <laughs> that she is still on this world. At this time. The most important thing is the journey to find her itself. And I will find her. Yes. And this is something you must keep in mind as the meaning behind your journey. I feel like he sees a lot of himself in us and the fact that we're searching for someone and he's searching for someone, it seems. May you find your kin at the end of that journey. Well then. Let us part ways here for now. Bro, I feel so trolled, it's not even funny. We literally just went on a wild goose chase. Go talk to Lawrence. Lawrence told me to go talk to Wagner. Wagner told me to go talk to to Charles. Charles headed, Charles told me to go talk to Dainsley. Then Dainsley was like, okay, let's go to the temple. Oh, nothing here. Let's go to Wolvendom. Nothing there. Let's go to, let's go to the, the, the Storm Terror's Lair. Nothing there. All right, uh, time for us to part ways. See you later, buddy. Huh? You're like, leaving? Come on, dude. Already? Only for now. Uh, Don't worry. We will meet again. Yeah, they definitely... I think what they're gonna do is as they unlock all of these regions, Danesleaf is going to be a, a consistent... Like, consistent Danesleaf breadcrumbs are gonna be spread all along the way. And by the time we... Instead of it just being Danesleaf at the very end... Since he seems like he's going to be like the end game, uh, the end game uh, conflict or end game objective with like Conria and, and everything else regarding us and our sister and the sustainer of heavenly principles or whatever. I feel like that's what they're gonna do. They're like, okay, we're giving you stuff for Dainsleaf in 1.3 and 1.4 and 1.5 or however, however long it takes. And so by the time we get to the end, we've already built a rapport with this character. After all, it's such a tease. I did take 500 Mora. And those three answers you gave me. I mean, yeah, that was the that was the agreement. Okay. Um Gears of Destiny. GG boys. GG. Okay. 
So I think that this is a, a good point to wrap things up. Uh, I'm going to do all my commissions, my today commissions off stream just because I am very winded. We watched all the trailers of the game. We got introduced to Dane's Leaf. Um, there's going to be more 1.4 updates over the next couple of days. But before Rosaria comes out on Tuesday, I will be streaming again tomorrow. We will be doing everything for Windbloom. We might have to do Klee's character quests because there's some conflicting information that if you unlock her character quest, it locks you out of Windbloom until you complete her character quests. And so we might do Klee's character quest and Windbloom, but I plan on streaming very early tomorrow, probably around 11 a.m. And uh, we are going to do her character quest if need be, but we are starting and finishing all of Windbloom so I can get all of the rewards. Apparently, there's a new four-star bow. Obviously, there's um, a bunch of Primo gems and, you know, Mora and rewards up for grabs. Another crown of insight as well. And I just love the I love the aesthetic, and I haven't really been able to take advantage of this event. And it sucks because the event is ending in a day and a half. So I'm literally only going to have tomorrow on stream to showcase it for you guys and like do all the stuff and see all the mini games and all that jazz you know unfortunately now that ruby volume 8 is done i'll be able to have all of that time to do those things and you know like i said it's really bittersweet because i wish i i had more time but at the same time i haven't really been focusing on that much outside of just doing my commissions and my resin anyway so um you know if anything getting this out of the way is fine and then we're gonna go after rosaria and do all of the other character quests and just continue on with my plans for Genshin Impact. But um, I think that's going to do it for me. I really, really liked everything that was presented. I think the uh, the game has a lot of potential moving forward. And yeah, we still have a lot of other content to get through. I'm excited to see more about Dainsley, our sister, the sustainer of Heavenly Principles. I still have to put together the timeline of everything that happened. But there's still so many unanswered questions. I still have to do more character quests. Read up on character lore for, for the, uh, the character um, biographies. Um, for their profile pages on top of the fact that I still have to read like all the in-game books and whatnot So it's gonna be a while. It's gonna be a process But I'm super excited and um, yeah, so we're gonna focus on Windbloom in the next one